All right, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy, hi y'all. And uh, this is a take two type thing. Not even gonna explain the reason. But uh, you know, since all you've missed is that we uh, wiped the face off and lathered. And we're all doing an almost Turkish Tuesday today. Not quite, we got the Turkish brush, little boy brush. We got the uh, shaving factory soap. Now the shaving factory soap is one that I get local. It's a, a tallow-based Turkish soap, and as you can see, it does a fantastic job. So we'll be using it. But uh, I'm not going to go back and wash everything off my face and start all over and act like it's nothing happened. So anyway, no real big deals. One of those days, sometimes, you know, you have technical difficulties. That's where we're at. So we're going to use the Shikim today. I did a shave the other day on Toast 3 that was the uh, Shik uh, H2. The Deb. I did find the red handle one in the move. I, I knew I still had it, or I felt like I still had it, that I hadn't given it away. So I did a, a Shik shave over there. Well, today I'm going to do the Turkish thing, but I didn't want to use the two-sided thingy, so we're going to substitute uh, the Shik M here. It's turned all the way up. The only acceptable setting on the adjustable is wide open, right? Right. And it does a fan fantastic job every time got a good blade in it and the M is ready to go all right I finally got that knot on my head I got everything dug out of it it should be going away uh, like I said I did post another video over on uh, toast three with the H2 the cousin of the hush head, I actually think the H2 shades better than the H1. Personally, I like them better, but that's just me. So if you haven't checked out the Toast 3 channel right here on YouTube, T-O-S-T-3, I got to get over and check the forum. I have been busy. And I have been negligent of getting over there and checking on things. So I have got to get over there and check on things at Toast 3, and I need to start being more attentive and being over there more. And I say that all the time. I do. But, you know, I'm almost out of camera there when I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's a new thing. I, I haven't really, uh, well, anyway. Everybody's seen me shave before. All right. Love a chic trimming up around the goatee. There's a lot of good things about a chic, but it's really nice. The old trimming up around the goatee there works really well with a chic. We're gonna go back with our little board brush here with some more lather. Nice and simple and easy. Had an easy night last night at work, hoping for another one tonight. It started out busy, but then it tapered off, and that's okay with me. Look at that. Ain't that crazy how that board brush got that big old hole right down in the middle? I mean, it's not as dense as some brushes. Man, look how good it works. All righty. Go back and get our across the green pass here with the shake in. Now it is an adjustable and I know you could turn it down and do all that stuff. But look, folks, once you get your technique right, there's no such thing as a razor that's too aggressive. But if you like a milder razor, turn it down some. But don't sit there and twist the knob during the shave. That's the thing that uh, I don't get. Folks, when we go, I'm gonna turn it up from my first pass, and then I'm gonna turn it down from. No need no. I realize that there are instructions manuals that say to do it that way. I get it. I understand they're there. There are instruction manuals that tell you a lot of things to make you think the product is something you need. I'm telling you, marketing is something. Ooh, that's a good shave, though. That is a high-quality shave. That's what I called that uh, H2 shave the other day. A high-quality DFS. Dang fine shave. That's what we go for. We ain't worried about, you know... <coughs> excuse me. We ain't worried about all that stuff. We're just worried about getting a good, solid shave. We're not going to do all the against-the-grain stuff. All right. Been all cleaned up out of my goatee and everything. Oh, man. Well, it's cloudy outside. It's sprinkled a little bit early. I don't know if we're going to get rain tonight or not. We'll see. This is South Louisiana, so we can get rain. 
Not as close to, not as far south as I have lived though. I've lived just, you know, 30 minutes drive from the beach. Go from Mexico. A little bit further than that from here. Alright. Let's have a look to here before I do the whole witch hazel thing. Look at that, what we've done. We done gone through and give ourselves heck of a good shave. Uh, the Schick M, again, that's one of those that I used to, last time I looked, you could still find them pretty easy. I've actually uh, had seen some not too long ago that were still new in the package, new in box. So, somebody got one here a while back over on Toast 3, and it was new new in the package still, still in the bubble, bubble thingy. All right, well, we're just going to come through and do our usual touch-up. I didn't feel anything that needed special attention. And the neat thing about them, and I show this every time I shave with it because I want people to see it, is that uh, you got to remember that it, that it closes and that you got to slide it open before you shave with it or you're not getting anything out of it. It's got a little lever right under the head here. And you push up and it pushes the guard under the blade and you pull down and it opens it back up so you got blade gap. And if you don't do that, you don't shave. It is not just for cleaning that you slide that down. It is, does not make it more, less this, more that. If you have it closed, it don't shave. So, there you go. Pointed that out again. All right, well, let's finish getting cleaned up and get us a little aftershave splash. Don't even know we haven't done a shower yet. So, it'll get washed off in a shower. We'll put more on later. We got plenty. We got plenty. Well, there we go. That's what we come up with with a shave this time. A little bit of water coming up. Well, that's what we come up with with a shave this time. Be my birthday Friday. We're gonna see what 53 feels like. Hopefully we get to make it there. So here we go. All right. All righty then. <laughs> hey, you double old Devin walk by. Oh boy. Got a little uh, Cafe Bastello in the old cup here, of course. Good way to get the evening started. Well, there we go. That's what we did today. The Schick M. Very nice. Adjustable, like I said. And, uh, you know, I think the only acceptable setting on an adjustable is wide open. I've said that for years now. That's kind of what I think. And I still think. But anyway, y'all have a good afternoon. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.